students welcome back to our youtube channel alisha maths classes so today i am going to start chapter number 10 straight lines of class 11th and we are going to start exercise 10.2 but before that those students who have not watched our previous video regarding the introduction of this exercise 10.2 in which we have discussed the various forms of equations of lines please watch that video first of all because only then you will be able to understand this exercise we are going to use the formulas of equations of various forms of equations of lines in this exercise 10.2 so the description is given in the i link you can just click over there to watch that video so without wasting the time let's see question number 1 question number 1 is write the equation for x axis and y axis so this is very simple equation all of you know that this is our x axis and this is our y axis so at x axis you know that y is equal to 0 so that means equation for x axis is y is equal to 0 similarly equation for y axis on y axis we have x is equal to 0 because you know that when y is on y axis every point is x is equal to 0 so the equation is x is equal to 0 so this is very simple please note down so students let's see question number 2 we have to find equation of line that is passing through the point minus 4 comma 3 with slope is equal to 1 by 2 so this is basically point slope form where one point is given and slope is given so we have discussed the formula for finding the equation of line is equation of line when point is given and slope is also given then we know that equation of line is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 so therefore equation of line passing through here equation of line is passing through x1 y1 so so the formula for the point when line is passing through x1 y1 is this so now equation of line passing equation of line passing through this point minus 4 comma 3 and slope is equal to 1 by 2 is just put this is x1 this is y1 and this all of you know that in the whole chapter we are going to represent the value of slope by m so y minus y1 is 3 is equal to m into x minus x1 x1 is negative 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 positive cross multiply we get 2y minus 6 is equal to x plus 4 this implies equation of line is x minus 2y plus 10 is equal to 0 so this is our required answer please note down So students, let's see question number third and fourth. First of all, question number third, passing through zero zero with slope m. Again, one point is given and slope is given. So first of all, write down the formula equation of line when slope and line point is given. Equation of line is given by y minus y one is equal to m into x minus x one. Here x one y one are the points through which the particular line is passing so x1 and y1 this is x1 this is y1 so just put y1 is equal to 0 slope is here m and put x1 is equal to 0 so the answer is y is equal to mx very simple next question number 4 is passing through 2 comma 2 root 3 and inclined with x axis at an angle of 75 degree so here point is given but slope is not given but you know that if theta is given then we know that we can find out the slope by using the formula m is equal to tan theta so here solution will be given that like this theta is equal to 75 degree this implies so slope is equal to m is equal to tan theta we have done this thing in exercise 10.1 also whenever we are given any angle that the line is making with the positive x axis then slope is given by this formula m is equal to tan theta so theta is here 75 degree now we don't know the value of tan 75 degree so we can apply the formula tan 75 can be written as 45 plus 30 this you have done in third chapter and using the formula of trigonometric functions tan a plus b is equal to tan a 
प्लस टेन बी अपॉन वन माइनस टेन ए टेन बी सो दिस इज द फॉर्मूला यू हैव डन इन थर्ड चैप्टर टेग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन दिस वी हैव यूज द फॉर्मूला फॉर टेन ए प्लस बी नाउ जस्ट पुट द वैल्यू टेन फोर्टी फाइव इज वन एंड टेन थर्टी इज वन बाय रूट थ्री सिमिलरली वन माइनस वन बाय रूट थ्री बिकॉज टेन फोर्टी फाइव इज वन वन इन टू वन रूट थ्री बिकम्स वन रूट थ्री नाउ टेक द एल्सियम एंड फाइनली द स्लोप इज गिवन बाय एम इज इक्वल टू वेन यू विल टेक एल्सियम इट विल बिकम रूट थ्री प्लस वन अपॉन रूट थ्री माइनस वन एंड दिस रूट थ्री विल बी कैंसल बाय रूट थ्री एज द एल्सियम सो फाइनली द स्लोप इज रूट थ्री प्लस वन अपॉन रूट थ्री माइनस वन नाउ you will find out now slope is given point is given again you will have to use the same formula therefore equation of line passing through टू कॉमा टू रूट थ्री एंड स्लोप इज इक्वल टू दिस वन रूट थ्री प्लस वन अपॉन रूट थ्री माइनस वन इज गिवन बाय द फॉर्मूला y माइनस वाई वन राइट डाउन हेयर एक्स वन वाई वन वाई माइनस वाई वन वाई वन इज हेयर टू रूट थ्री इज इक्वल टू एम वॉट इज एम हेयर रूट थ्री प्लस वन अपॉन रूट थ्री माइनस वन इन टू एक्स माइनस एक्स वन एक्स वन इज टू नाउ जस्ट क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई वाई इंटू रूट थ्री माइनस वन बिकम्स रूट थ्री माइनस वन इन टू वाई टू रूट थ्री विल बी ऑल्सो मल्टीप्लाइड बाई रूट थ्री रूट थ्री माइनस वन Similarly, here root three plus one will be multiplied by x, and two will be multiplied by root three plus one. Now here we have to simplify it. So take all the things x and y on the one side and constant on the other side, or you can shift all the things on the one side. So it becomes root three plus one into x. and this when this y y term will come in the right hand side it will become negative so it becomes minus of root 3 minus 1 into y minus 2 into root 3 plus 1 and this negative so it will become positive 2 root 3 into root 3 minus 1 is equal to 0 finally it becomes we can shift this negative side inside this bracket so 1 will become positive and root 3 will become negative so it can be written as 1 minus root 3 into y and you will open this 2 into root 3 becomes 2 root 3 minus 2 into 1 becomes minus 2 2 root 3 into root 3 root 3 into root 3 is 3 3 to the 6 minus 2 root 3 into minus 1 is minus 2 root 3 is equal to 0 now what we have to do the fa last final equation is just simplify minus 2 root 3 minus 2 root 3 is going to be minus 4 root 3 and 6 minus 2 will become 8 here it is yes One minute. We will just check here. Minus two root three plus one is going to be minus two, and this is plus six minus two root three. Six minus two is going to be four, and minus two root three minus two root three becomes four root three. So this is our answer. Please note down. So students, next is question number fifth. in which we have given intersecting the x axis at a distance 3 units to the left of origin with slope minus 2 first of all see here the line is intersecting the x axis at a distance 3 unit from the left now all of you know that this is this is the origin and left side is this one right side is this one now this line is cutting at a distance of 3 units to the left of origin so that means this line is passing through this point minus 3 comma 0 because distance is here 3 units and this line is cutting the x axis so therefore this line is passing through this point minus 3 comma 0 here i have drawn this line like this it can be like this also it can be anything because we don't know the exact equation so here i have drawn it like this so we can write down therefore the equation the line is passing through the line is passing through 
पॉइंट ए माइनस थ्री कॉमा जीरो इफ इट इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन दैट द लाइन इज पासिंग थ्रू दी पास लाइन इज एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ थ्री यूनिट्स टू द राइट ऑफ ऑरिजन देन दैट मीन्स दिस लाइन इज पासिंग थ्रू द पॉइंट थ्री कॉमा जीरो सो यू हैव टू जस्ट रिमेंबर इन लेफ्ट ऑल द पॉइंट्स ऑफ एक्स एक्स इज आर नेगेटिव ऑन द राइट ऑल द पॉइंट्स ऑफ एक्स एक्स इज आर पॉजिटिव सो एट माइनस थ्री कॉमा जीरो एंड हेयर स्लोप इज गिवन स्लोप इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू वी यूज टू राइट डाउन दिस एम बाय माइनस टू अगेन इक्वेशन ऑफ लाइन इज गिवन बाय फॉर्मूला इक्वेशन ऑफ लाइन इज गिवन बाय एवरी टाइम वेन एवर द पॉइंट एंड स्लोप इज गिवन वी हैव टू यूज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ पॉइंट स्लोप फॉर्म वाई माइनस वाई वन इज इक्वल टू एक्स माइनस एक्स वन सो वाई माइनस वाई वन इज हेयर जीरो एम इज हेयर माइनस टू and x minus x1 x1 is minus 3 minus minus will become plus 3 so the equation is minus 2x minus 6 at this implies 2x plus y plus 6 is equal to 0 so this is a required answer so students next is question number 6 first of all you have to read the question very carefully so that you can understand the basic logic between the question and you will be able to know what formula we have to identify uh, we have to apply in this question see the question intersecting the y axis at a distance of 2 units above the origin so first of all i will be able to know that if line is cutting the in y axis at a distance of 2 units above the origin so it can be like this or it can be like this also because it is cutting above x axis so that means i am damn sure that this line is passing through the point 0 comma 2 because above the origin that means y is positive and you know that if it is cutting y axis the next must be 0 so i know here that this line is passing through the point so we'll just write down the solution this line is intersecting y axis at a distance two units above origin therefore it is passing through it is passing through 0 2 so that means we have found the point where the line is passing through through this point and now we have to think about the slope for the slope it is given that this line is making an angle of 30 degree with the positive direction of x axis so that's very simple the formula we have applied in the previous question also that is m is equal to 10 theta because theta is the angle which the line is making with the positive direction of x axis so here theta is 30 degree just apply m is equal to 10 theta that is 10 30 degree so the slope is 1 by root 3 so therefore equation of line which is passing through the point 0 comma 2 passing through 0 comma 2 and the slope is slope is 1 by root 3 so the formula is same that is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 here this is x1 this is y1 so just put all the values of x1 y1 and m y1 is 2 m is 1 by root 3 and x1 is 0 cross multiply y into root 3 becomes root 3y Minus two into root three becomes two root three is equal to x. So therefore, equation x x minus root three y plus two root three is equal to zero. This is our required equation of line. So students, let's read the next question number eight. Line is passing through the points minus one comma one and two comma minus four. So basically, when you will observe this equation, this is the line passing through two points. So we have discussed that uh, in our previous video also, where we have given the introduction regarding the various forms of equations of line. So we have discussed the formula for equation of line passing through two points is y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. Let's see how. If you will get confused, I am going to tell you very shortcut. Equation of line passing through two points 
एक्स वन बाई वन एंड एक्स टू बाई टू इज जनरली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट डाउन द फॉर्मूला फॉर द इक्वेशन ऑफ लाइन पासिंग थ्रू वन पॉइंट दैट वी आर राइटिंग इन एवरी क्वेश्चन दैट इज वाई माइनस फाइव वन इज इक्वल टू एम इन टू एक्स माइनस एक्स वन सेम यू हैव टू राइट डाउन यू डोंट नीड टू लर्न द फॉर्मूला नाउ यू नो दैट एम इज द स्लोप एंड द स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन पासिंग थ्रू टू पॉइंट इज गिवन बाय द फॉर्मूला वाई टू माइनस वाई वन अपॉन एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन वेरी सिंपल सो इन दिस वे यू डोंट नीड टू लर्न द फॉर्मूला फॉर एवरी क्वेश्चन यू जस्ट अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला बट यू शुड नो हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द स्लोप वेन थीटा इज गिवन हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द स्लोप वेन टू पॉइंट्स आर गिवन सो दिस आर द ओनली थिंग यू कैन फाइंड आउट द स्लोप सो पुट हेयर एम ए फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फाइंड हेयर वॉट इज एम हेयर दिस इज एक्स वन वाई वन एंड दिस इज एक्स टू वाई टू सो द फॉर्मूला इज वाई टू माइनस वाई वन दैट मीन्स माइनस फोर माइनस वन अपॉन टू माइनस ऑफ माइनस वन सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी माइनस फाइव बाई थ्री दे आर फोर पुट दिस वैल्यूज इन इक्वेशन वन फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन y माइनस वॉट इज वाई वन हेयर फाइव वन इज हेयर वन इज इक्वल टू एम इज हेयर माइनस फाइव बाई थ्री इन टू एक्स माइनस एक्स वन एक्स वन इज हेयर माइनस वन सो माइनस माइनस विल बिकम प्लस वन नाउ जस्ट वेरी सिंपल क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई थ्री वाई माइनस थ्री इज इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव एक्स माइनस फाइव सिंप्लीफाइंग इट वी गेट फाइव एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो वेरी सिंपल प्लीज नोट डाउन so students next is eighth question perpendicular distance from the origin is फाइव units and the angle made by the perpendicular with the positive x axis at 30 degree so first of all try to understand here I have drawn a figure also this is x axis and this is y axis now you can see here this this is the line ए बी एंड द परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द ऑरिजन हेयर आई हैव ड्रॉन अ लाइन विच इज परपेंडिकुलर टू द लाइन ए बी एंड इट्स डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द ऑरिजन इज फाइव यूनिट्स also it is mentioned in the question that this is making an angle of sorry this perpendicular this line is making an angle of 30 degree with the positive x axis so that means theta is equal to 30 degree now what we need to do just identify the formula whenever the perpendicular distance from the origin is given and you have to find out the equation of line that means this is the normal form again i am telling you i have discussed this normal form the complete derivation of this is given in the Uh, previous video where we have done the introduction and the link again is given in the i link i have told you uh, previously also so using the normal form we know that equation of line in normal form is x cos theta plus y sin theta is equal to p where p is the perpendicular distance from the origin and theta is the angle which the line is making with the positive x axis so very simple here theta is 30 degree and what is the value of p p is the perpendicular distance from origin that is 5 now just put the value of cos 30 the value of cos 30 is equal to root 3 by 2 and the value of sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2 so it becomes root 3x upon 2 plus y by 2 is equal to 5 and the next step we are going to take the lcm which is equal to 2 and 2 will be shifted to the right hand side so 5 into 2 becomes 10 so the equation is root 3x plus y is equal to 10 this is our required equation please note down so students next is question number 9 the vertices of the triangle pqr p2 comma 1 Q minus two comma three and R four comma five. So these are basically the three vertices of the triangle given, and we have to find out the equation of the median through the vertex R. From vertex R, here I have taken the vertex R here. So from the vertex R, we have to draw a line which is median. Now first of all, you should know what is the meaning of median. Any line which intersects the other line, and if it divides the line into two equal parts. then this line is said to be median of line pq fine median divides this pq line into two equal parts or we can say m is the midpoint of this pq so we have to find out the equation of rm now it is very simple 
I can find out the coordinates of M by using midpoint formula and to find out the equation of line median RM we are having two points because this RM is RM is line line is passing through R point and M point so using two point formula two uh, two points formula yes so we can find out the equation of this line let's see how now see here triangle PQR coordinates are given let RM is median of triangle PQR we have suppose this is the median of triangle PQR through vertex R through vertex R here I have drawn this RM medium through the vertex or R so that means M is the M is the midpoint of this line PQ now using midpoint formula coordinates of M will be coordinates of M will be given by the formula x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 you have done this formula in 10th standard also so this is basically x1 y1 this is x2 y2 so x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 so when we will solve it 2 minus 2 is going to be 0 it becomes 0 1 plus 3 is 4 upon 2 is 2 so that means the coordinates of point m is 0 comma 2 now we have to find out the equation of the line rm therefore equation of median passing through r point this r point is 4 5 and m point is 0 comma 2 is given by again i we have done in the previous uh, in last to last question also where we have used the formula to find out the equation of line passing through two points i told you just remember one formula that is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 but here we can find out the slope m is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 fine now just put the value y minus y1 is here 5 is equal to the value of m is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 so let's see y2 is here 2 minus y1 is here 5 x2 is here 0 and x1 is here 4 into x minus x1 x minus x1 is here 4 so just you need to do is that you have to put the value of x1 y1 and x2 y2 in this formula where m is given as a slope and the slope formula of slope to um, formula to find out the slope passing through two points is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 now we just have to solve it 2 minus 5 is going to be minus 3 upon minus 4 into x minus 4 this negative will be cancelled by negative and 4 into y is going to be 4y 4, 4 into 5 is 20 3 into x is 3x 3 into 4 is 12 now just shift it we get 3x minus 4y minus 12 plus 20 is going to be plus 8 is equal to 0 so this is our required equation so students next is question number 10 read the statement find the equation of the line passing through the points minus 3 comma 5 and perpendicular to the line through the points min 2 comma 5 and minus 3 comma 6 first of all please try to understand the question we have to find the equation of line and this line is passing through this point so here we have assumed this is the line cd which is passing through minus 3 comma 5 now this line is perpendicular on this line AB which is passing through two points 2 comma 5 and minus 3 comma 6. We have to find out the equation of line CD. Now to find out the equation of line CD now one point is given through which CD is passing. We either need any one point either we are able to understand uh, we are able to find out the coordinates of the point d or we can find out the slope of the cd then we can find out the equation of line because to find out the equation of line we either need one point or slope or we need two points but here we can can't find out the coordinates of d because d about d nothing is mentioned that d is the midpoint 
so we cannot find out the coordinate of d so better to think about finding the slope of cd now these two lines are perpendicular and in the introduction of exercise 10.1 we have discussed that when two lines are perpendicular then slope of their product is equal to minus 1 so we are going to use that thing so first of all we will we will write down let cd be the line passing through passing through this point minus 3 comma 5 and perpendicular on ab which is passing through two points a and b 2 comma 5 and b comma minus 6 now let us suppose the slope m1 is the slope of line ab now you know that slope of line is given by the formula y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 so this is here x1 y1 this is here x2 y2 so apply the formula directly 6 minus 5 that is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 that means minus 3 minus 2 so the slope is going to be 1 upon minus 5 let slope of cd is equal to m2 so we don't know about the slope of cd so we have assumed here that c2 is uh, m2 is the slope of cd now as cd is perpendicular on ab so we have done when two lines are perpendicular then the product of their slope is equal to minus 1 so m1 multiply m2 is equal to minus 1 but here m1 is equal to 1 by minus 5 so when this minus 5 will be shifted to here minus 5 into minus 1 become 5 so slope is equal to 5 so we have found the slope of this line cd now we can find out the equation of line cd because point is given slope we have find out so just apply point slope formula equation of line cd passing through passing through this point minus 3 comma 5 and slope is equal to 5 is given by the formula first of all write down the formula y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 so y minus here y1 is 5 and m is 5 into x minus x1 is minus 3 minus minus will become plus 3 so y minus 5 is equal to 5x plus 15 this implies required equation of line is 5x minus y plus 20 is equal to 0 this is our answer please note down so students let's see question number 11 a line perpendicular to the line segment joining the points 1 0 and 2 3 and divides it in the ratio 1 ratio n find the equation of line please try to understand the question with the help of this figure we have to find a line this is the line cd we have suppose this is a line per which is perpendicular to the line this line is perpendicular to the line ab and this line is ab uh, passing through the points this is the line a b which is made by joining the point a and b where a is 1 0 b is 2 3 and this line this line when it intersects a b not only it is perpendicular but also it divides the line a b into two in two two parts by dividing it in the ratio 1 ratio n so we have to find out the equation of line c d so let's see how we have to do let we have assumed that CD is perpendicular on AB where AB is passing through AB is passing through these two points 1 0 and 2 3 first of all whenever the concept of perpendicular is given just we have done in the previous question whenever perpendicular question is given then you have to apply the concept of slope slope of the product is equal to minus 1 so first of all find out the let slope m1 is equal to slope of ab use the formula of formula of slope of ab which is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 so that means 3 minus 0 upon 2 minus 1 which is going to be 3 let slope of cd is equal to m2 now as cd is perpendicular on ab 
this implies slope of their product is equal to minus 1 that means m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 but m1 is equal to 3 so this implies m2 is equal to minus 1 by 3 so one thing we have find out the slope of this line cd is minus 1 by 3 now we have to find only one point we can easily find out the coordinates of d by using section formula which we have done in 10th standard so this is the line a b and d is the point which is dividing the line a b in the ratio 1 ratio n the coordinates of a is 1 0 the coordinates of b is 2 3 so just apply section formula very easy coordinates of d is given by all of you have done cross multiply m1 x2 plus m2 x1 upon m1 plus m2 if you don't remember the formula just apply the shortcut cross multiply 1 into 2 first of all you have to multiply both the ratio with the x coordinate because firstly we have to find out the x coordinate now 1 into 2 is going to be 2 and n into 1 is going to be n upon 1 plus n and again 1 into 3 is going to be 3 and n into 0 is becomes 0 you don't need to write down so 3 upon 1 plus n yes that's now we have find out the point cd also through which cd line is passing and we have find out the slope also you now just you need to apply the formula of equation of line so therefore equation of line cd is given by formula is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 so y minus y1 is this point is equal to m is minus 1 by 3 into x minus x1 is 2 plus n upon 1 plus n so just you need to uh, take the LCM and all that you have to solve it by taking the LCM we get n plus 1 n plus 1 into y becomes n plus 1 into y minus 3 is equal to minus 1 by 3 into take here LCM it is equal to n plus 1 n plus 1 into x is going to be n plus 1 into x minus 2 plus n now here n plus 1 will be cancelled by n plus 1 cross multiply 3 into this becomes 3 into n plus 1 by 3 into 3 becomes 9 minus 1 into this becomes minus into n plus 1 x minus minus will become plus 2 plus n now just shift everything on the left hand side this negative will become positive so when we will shift this term here it becomes no positive so it becomes n plus 1 into x plus 3 into n plus 1 into y minus 9 and this is positive so it becomes negative or better to shift this minus 9 to the right hand side this minus 9 will be shifted to here it becomes plus 9 so the answer is n plus 1 into x plus 3 into n plus 1 into y is equal to n plus 11 this is a required equation of cd please note down so students today we have done question number 1 to question number 11 of exercise 10.2 in our next video we are going to discuss the next question number 12 to question number 20 of exercise 10.2 but before that if you love my video please like share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching alicia math classes